Hi, so what we're going to look at today is how to put the master fader in the main window. The master fader is always available in the mixer, but it's not in the main window unless you tell Logic to put it there. The main reason why you might want to do this is to have good control over a full fade out of a song. So let's say you've already created fade outs on your regions, like I've done here on these guitar tracks. But those fade outs are only for the audio itself, the guitar. The fade out will not take into account the reverb tail, as you can hear when I play it. I'll go ahead and solo these tracks. You could add automation and fade out these tracks, but again, the reverb will still be there as it's on a bus. So you would need to do a fade out on any buses you have also. It's a lot of automation that could just happen with just one master fade out. You could enable automation on the master fader in the mix window by setting the automation to latch and then ride the fader out. So if you went to that, just switch this button to latch and then ride the fader out. But if you make a mistake, you have to do it over again. And you get a lot of nodes doing that as well. So anyway, the first step is to select the very last track in the main window. We're going to go ahead and select this guitar, this last guitar track. Once we make the master track viewable, here, it will show up under the selected track. So if I had this voice track selected and I made this master track available here, it would show up in between the voice and the guitar tracks. So we're going to select the last track here and then open up the mixer window by typing X. Well, I already have it open. So if you type X, then you get the mixer window open. You can also go to in the global menu here uh, click on view and then hide and show the mixer as there as well so go ahead and select the master track you can see how the main window still shows that last guitar track as selected yet in the mixer window we have the master fader selected and then from here in our mixer window, we're going to go to Options and select Create Tracks for Selected Channel Strips. And voila! There it is. Um, so it's we're in the main window, so let's go ahead and select the main window by selecting, I don't know, just anywhere in there. We'll go ahead and minimize that a little bit. And what we'll do now is we'll just type the letter A and that'll open up automation. You can also select mix and show automation within the global logic menus right here, show automation. And so from here, we can leave the default on volume. There are other options to select as well, but we're just going to leave this on volume. Click on the line where you want the fade to begin. So I'll say I want it to begin right about here. I had to actually click twice, one to activate the line and then one more time to get the node. And then uh, what we're going to do is click on where you want the song to end to get another node. So I see here, let me expand this just a little bit. Okay, so looks like where would I want that fade to be? I'm thinking probably 85. Yeah, it sounds good. Maybe more like 84. So we'll go for 84. And I'm going to click on... Um, that automation to get another node. 
And then what we'll do is we'll pull that last node down. And then um, now we have really good control over how slow or fast we'd like to have the fade. So let's go ahead and listen to this fade. this helps and thanks for watching.